Good morning everyone and welcome to the Baking Biker. Today is day 13 of our Great Falls motorcycle trip. So we're heading home in the Puget Sound area of Western Washington. Right now it's in the 70s. We're going to head uh, west on Highway 12 across White Pass. So let's ride. Over to my left is Mount Adams. We couldn't see Mount Adams very well yesterday because of the hay, but today it's nice, bright, and shiny out there. So that is Mount Adams. So good morning everyone and welcome to the Baking Biker. Welcome to day 13 of our Great Falls Motorcycle Trip. Today we're leaving Yakima and heading home to Western Washington, the Puget Sound area of Western Washington get a bit of an early start because today is Friday and this weekend is the 4th of July so it's a big holiday weekend, three day weekend, people are on the move so the freeways, highways and all the roads are going to be busy today. They were probably busy yesterday because people were taking a four day weekend. So we thought we'd get an early start and try to avoid the freeways around the Puget Sound area as much as possible. Yakima and it's in the mid 70s. It'll be cool going across White Pass. So we're gonna head west. In fact we are on we are heading west on Highway 12. We're gonna head west across White Pass and then take Highway 7 into uh, the Puget Sound area. So we had a really nice day at the Hotel Maison. It's an historical building built in 1911 and it was built for the fraternity also known for all of its fruit and you find these fruit stands everywhere you go in the Yakima Valley area also over in Wenatchee area there are fruit stands everywhere and even in Western Washington you'll see fruit stands and they'll talk about the fruit came from Yakima. We love getting Yakima cherries and apples and uh, peaches. Those are some of our favorites that we get from Yakima. Especially those Rainier cherries. Those are really good. But we can't really take them on the motorcycle. We tried once, but because our boxes kind of bounce around a little bit, well, the fruit gets a little bruised up on the way home. So we learned not to uh, bring home fruit from Yakima. At least on the motorcycle. Come over here in your car. And they have all these fruit stands. Hill on my left. 
that is Rimrock Dam. What you can't see is the spillway is hidden by these trees. This is Rimrock Dam and the spillway. And we'll get through the tunnel. And you know me and tunnels. We just came into Packwood here and there is a herd of elk out here. Some young ones, a lot of mamas, and a few papas out there. So I didn't have my GoPro on when we came down the hill, but we have this great little parking area. And one trying to nurse. Didn't quite happen, yeah. So, just watching them feed. Wow. I had never seen this in elk in uh, Packwood before. I know they're here, but I've never seen them. Let me get turned around here. Oops. Sorry. Sorry. Coming through. Coming through. Dallas River Lodge. We'll come over here. People are taking pictures. I don't blame them. We'll get turned around here. There we go. So I just had to stop in here and let you see all the elk. Way off in the distance is a, is a papa over there. There's, there's a male out there, a couple males, but mostly females. What a great sight. Oh, there goes a the male. Crossing the street. Hi there, you guys. Yeah, come to watch you. 
Making sure his herd is okay. Yep. We're good. So we'll continue on the way here. But I had to get a video of that. Well, we're back on Highway 7 here along Alder Lake and heading home. This is one of our favorite day rides is coming along Alder Lake here and on Highway 7 up to Elby and have some lunch and then go back home. The water just came from the gla glaciers because it's, it's, it's not quite blue out there. So it looks a lot of like glacial water coming down. And it's actually uh, pretty up, pretty up high. This is why this is one of our favorite day rides. Because this Highway 7 has this nice little section of twisty turning. They've been working on a landslide up ahead, so we've had to really kind of slow down in a little bit of this area, but otherwise, it's still a great road. Really nice twisties. Thumbs up and please subscribe for future videos.